Yo, 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 it's DJ Fitness One Night A Year. I hope you see my YouTube, TikTok, and subscribe to my channel, Pump Up, and more people to come. This is about the video about OG Costco. Share the video, you guys. This guy, I'm not too sure how I felt the fake news or not. I'll just be honest. OG Costco, please be careful him. Just let you know, this guy scam you like rag, raccoon, you know, rag, small scammer. Just be careful him. He follow you guys in OG or Costco. Be careful him. Just let you know. This guy, very dangerous guy. Just remember he was a YouTube TikTok. Be careful. I hope he's like a public menace. Simeon Boykov promotes himself as a man of integrity, a businessman and a freedom fighter. But his dodgy dealings and unpaid debts paint a very different picture. Steve Marshall paid him a visit. <laughs> Rudely interrupted by the police. I've been standing up for freedom. Hey, you you haven't. You've been complicit. Hey, my wife reckons that all publicity is good publicity, isn't that right? Yeah. You've been bills. complicit, mate. Why are you sitting here going to be out on the street? You, you know, why, why are you going to How, how much did I pay to do this? Scribbles or rubles? Russian roulette with the Aussie Cossack. How about I pay you? Here's a thousand hey. bucks for Stephen Martin right there. That is Wait, I, just, I just bought him off, just like Channel 9 buys their people off. A thousand bucks from me, I'll decline that before I can give it back to me, let's go. But yeah, Simeon Boykov can't money buy money. his way out of this one. No, yeah, take your money back. No, 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 sorry, mate. Sorry, mate. Because the Boykov you see in front of the camera... Start to face the music. I make leave police station, and I demand your resignation. ...is very different to the man behind the lens. Because you're cowards! You're all bloody cowards, mate! This is the Aussie Cossack unmasked. You're a fake news grub, you know it, and you're an embarrassment. And Grandma Boykov's not happy either. What about your health? All right, guys, Aussie Cossack, check this video out. I've just been attacked by current affair. Tens of thousands of eyeballs have already viewed our fiery clash with the self-proclaimed Aussie Cossack after he posted his version online. I'm going to put this video up right now on Speaking YouTube. Fake news. Let the whole world see Speaking what kind of, of grubs news. you are, mate. Simeon Boykov was yeah. born in Sydney. Great, great. None of my uh, relatives were born in Russia or the Soviet Union. Yet, he promotes himself as a Russian patriot with a massive Z plastered on his car like those on Russian tanks, Boykov's a prolific peddler of Putin's propaganda behind invading Ukraine. Vladimir Putin's right here. If there are Nazis who are killing civilians, they should be liquidated and they should all force should be used, necessary. False. Ukraine is not a country that requires denazification. Ukraine is a country that has a Jewish president. Robert Horvath is a Russian politics expert at La Trobe University. Boykov boasted that within Australia, he is able to do more damage to an enemy state than Russian special forces can do. He's clearly someone who, whose activities should be watched carefully. Boykov is certainly on the radar. We are doing a, conducting a search. Particularly after being snapped with Igor Gherkin, one of the Russians charged with shooting down passenger jet MH17, killing 298 people, including 38 Australians. Uh, hey, this, is, this, you, is you, this is you hey, trying to you make a personal attack. The Look at him, trying to make a personal attack on me because I bring the truth. Shame on the current affair, shame on the mainstream media for attacking hard-working Australians like this. Boykov's trip to Russia resembles a scene from a Borat movie. But when he returned to Australia... We've got a search party coming into the HQ. They've got a... They reckon I have firearms? He complained about police slapping a prohibited firearms order on him. They've got the Cossack sword. Is it antique? It's got... We're going to conduct some further inquiries. We did the same and discovered a few home truths behind Simeon Boykov's Iron Curtain. Are you proud to have residency? I'm proud. Well done, baby. An apprehended violence order New South Wales police took out against Boykov on behalf of his wife, the second in four years. He must not assault, threaten, stalk, harass or intimidate her. Why did the, police, why did the police take out an AVO against you on behalf of your wife? And here you are together. Why did that happen? Can you I don't want to know about my wife. 
the ADA. Why have you got an there ADA, is an ADA you? There's no AVO, mate. My wife never took an AVO. The police have been yes. targeting me for Thank many years now, yeah. targeting for many months, targeting me, trying to get me from a direction, because I report the real news, unlike you, current affair. Boykov's facing another four separate charges for various offences. He's also landed his grandma in court after she guaranteed a $450,000 loan to Simeon. The bank claims he's defaulted on the repayments and grandma Sofia Boykov is in danger of losing her house. I, I don't understand, I'm sorry. No speak English. Uh, what about your house? Is Simeon paying his bills? Are you happy to now, see your grandmother out on a street? This is a affair out to make up a story. Look at this. They come out here, they corner me with my car here. Absolutely desperate. Fake news. Trying to play the Jewish question. You know, being racist. And now attacking me with personal uh, financial dealings. None, none of your business, mate. We've got to know more about these clowns. Nine's and TGV yes, broadcaster Chris Smith has copped to... his fair share of rants from conspiracy theorists. At least we have... They are using social media to get bad and dangerous messages out to the public. They should be scrutinised. And we should be, be scrutinising exactly who he's broadcasting to as well. Once they put themselves in the public domain, they are fair game. I've been standing up for freedom. You, you haven't. You've been complicit. Why don't, why don't you You've been complicit, mate. Why is Sophia going mate, to be out mate, on the street? You, you know, why, why are you going to put Sophia How, how much did I pay to do this? Here, how about I pay you? Why how about you? I pay you? Here's a thousand bucks for Stephen Martin right there. That is Stephen Martin. I just, I just bought him off just like Channel 9 buys their people up. Thousand bucks from yours, because before I can give it back to you, let's go. Jump in the car, yeah, take your money back. No, 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 Right, this boy got camera accepting a thousand dollar bribe from Aussie Cossacks. You must be the only current affair reporter in the history of the show to have a bribe on camera in your pocket. Lucky you. Well, uh, I'm not sure it was a thousand bucks. I think I might have been shortchanged. <laughs> that sounds exactly like him. Here is a, he is a first grade moron, this fella. I find it a bit um, unfair because <laughs> if you've got a lot of money, you know what, man? Pay your own bills. Ilian's you know, been chasing payment from Boykov through True Blue Labour Hire, a company the Aussie Cossack has shares in. What's the point of having business, of dealing business? Because at the end of the day, you know, a lot of people can walk away like this, you know. But why don't you use this money to pay your bills? Right, accepted from the Aussie Cossack why on you, camera. Why are you, but, you know why I gave you that? Because my subscribers will give me another 100000 if I get the word out. But are you just a people pretender? like you, are you just a pretender? dirty, dirty are you, journalists are you just a who pretender? are full of fake news Mate, you sir are a fake i'm not, news I'm not sure if i'm the, uh, the not, one full of you're a here, fake man. news grub you know yeah. it and you're an embarrassment i'm gonna put this video up right now on speaking youtube of fake news. let's the whole world see speaking what of kind of grub news. you are mate you're an absolute of... grub don't get run over Mate, pay your bill simeon and i shoved a thousand dollars into his pocket and i said choke on it you well the aussie cossack to told his followers he bribed I'm channel gonna... nine hi who are you? I run the venue. Oh, you run the venue? Here's what really happened to that cash. Charlie? I don't want to be on the hey, Charlie, well, you are now already. Too late. I don't want to be on the just picked up money off the street, Charlie. For the gentleman who dropped it. Yeah, you know Simeon? You know him? Yes, I do. What do you, what do you make of Simeon? I'm not going to make money. Is Simeon going to get his money back? Well, we don't know because there's been no online video update from Simeon Boykov on whether he got that cash back.